So here you are and it's your first auditorium recording. One of the biggest challenges is actually getting into the studio. So at this point what you'll want to do is walk through the hallways, go through the back end, go to where it says LCPS TV, and go down the gray hallway that we're used to and make a left and go right in. So look at the screen in front of you and you might notice that the title is going to need to be changed. It's not the Higgins Vocal Concert, or maybe it is, but if it's not, you're going to have to change it. Click to where it says GFX2 near the bottom of the screen and you'll see the graphics. When you find the graphics, click where it says AA. Hover over that, it'll take a second, and this screen will pop up. Then just click where the title is on the bigger screen, and then just type away the new title. Click enter and the new title will appear. Then you can click GFX2 and it all goes away. Now if you're a camera operator, this little guy comes in really handy. The first thing you're going to want to know is what camera are you working on? So make sure you click on the correct camera where it says camera status and selection. Now that you've chosen your camera, you're going to want to make sure that you know how to zoom in or zoom out, how to focus, and how to pan and tilt. Let's go to zooming in and zooming out. Just like using a larger camera, all you have to do is press up to zoom in and press down to zoom out. If you notice that the camera is out of focus, all you have to do is press the focus button right here. And last comes my favorite part, the little joystick. It's very tiny and it says pan and tilt. Push up and it will tilt up push down, it'll tilt down. Push to the right, it'll pan to the right. Push to the left, it'll pan to the left. You don't want to like swing it around or do anything crazy, but it works really, really well. One of the best parts of this particular device is you can preset any of the camera angles any way you'd like prior to the show. So if you'll notice, camera 3 is highlighted and there are four presets all ready to go. The presets are in the preset memory venue up above. And then at the bottom, you'll know what camera you're in. Sometimes in the middle of a show, this can get very confusing as you'll forget you've got to press camera 1 to move camera 1 or press camera 2 to move camera 2, or press camera 3, which as you can see is currently selected, to move camera 3. Sounds like it's simple and easy, but when you're in the middle of a production, all of a sudden you'll forget that in order to move those cameras, you have to pick the camera, then pick the movement. Just remember, even if you've picked a preset, if it doesn't look right, you can still use the pan and tilt or zoom or wide out from that preset while you're in that preset. So you can zoom out live or pan live if you need to, if your preset doesn't exactly match to frame your subjects. Just make sure that no matter what, every kid that's singing is focused on. But if they have a solo, focus on the soloist. If they're in a group, focus on the small group. It's pretty much that simple. Last but not least is the TriCaster. Now you'll notice in this lovely blurry picture that there are two sets of numbers that are really highlighted, the red set and the green set. The red set will display what the audience currently sees. The green set will allow you to see in a larger picture what might be coming up next. So you can preset your next picture for the audience to see. Please note that camera 1 is the left camera, camera 2 is the center camera, 3 is the right camera, 4 is an upstairs camera which gives you a very large view but you have no control over, and camera 5 is a live camera view and if you have a live camera operator you can switch to this view and even talk to the live camera operator to tell that camera operator exactly what you'd want them to do. Sometimes camera 5 offers a really good static wide shot so that, that way you don't have to worry in case you can't get a shot of what's going on. You can always flip to camera 5 and know you're getting at least a nice, lovely, wide shot of the stage. As a reminder of what's live and what's coming up, you can see that camera 1 is live and camera 2 is what is prepped to come up. Then you just pull this lever down and camera 2 will be live and then camera 1 will be ready to go. Just remember that whatever you put on the bottom row will be what comes up next for the viewer. Sometimes the TriCaster feels like it's not doing what you're supposed to do. 
So someone might have played with these particular buttons. You want to be sure that in the main transition section, the left of the plunger, the background button is pushed and the fade button is pushed. One of the last buttons to push before you start is to make sure that DSK2 take is pushed and DSK4 take is pushed. Those two buttons give us titles like the LCPS TV screen and whatever the title of the particular performance is that you're recording. Those titles should stay on during the entire time of your live upstream. Speaking of live streaming, the last thing you need to know is how to stream and make sure that your audience can see what you're doing. Make sure you press the STRM button, that's your live stream button, and you will be recording to Facebook and YouTube live at that time, so make sure you press it at the beginning of the performance. At the end of the performance, to stop the live stream, make sure you press and hold the control button while simultaneously pushing the stream button at the top of the TriCaster. So if you press and hold both buttons at the same time, you will stop recording. And that's how you do it. One last thing about the TriCaster. The second screen, the one on your right, displays the preview and the program and all the live monitors so you can see exactly what to switch and it really does help the person running the PTZ cams. And when it comes to audio, just make sure that the auditorium mic line feed on the big audio mixer is pushed up to about where the U is, and that the main mix on the right is also where the U is. This is what the audio mixer should look like when all the buttons are pushed down and the two buttons you need are pressed up. Again, use the auditorium mic line feed lever to push up or push down to get the volume you need. At the end of the night, just make sure you've stopped your streaming, turn off the lights, close the door, and leave. And have a great evening, and know you did a great job. If you have any questions or concerns throughout your time there, make sure you use the Remind app and contact me 